Ideally, as we get into mid-spring, we're going to start thinking about planting out all as crops that we've been growing indoors, under shelter, through the colder weeks. But what you need to start thinking about on top of that is, once you've got things in the ground, they reach the point where they're ready for you to harvest. Certain crops don't take long from seed to harvest. So you want to make sure you've got some more backups to replace those. You want to stagger your plantings through the season. So when you've got things like this, which is your lettuces that you've been growing slow, but now they're getting to the point where they're about ready to go outside now, once we've passed this really cold snap, obviously. Once you get those in the ground and get them going, you want to start and sow more seeds every couple of weeks so that once you've harvested these, you're not left with a dead month. So you put some more in a little tray like this, get them growing on in your greenhouse, and then you can swap plants out as you go through the season and provide yourself with a continuous supply of food. The same goes for your long season growing plants, like your onions, which we're planting these trays to help them come on a little bit before we put them outside. And so basically, when you get them outside, they're gonna start and grow a lot quicker. But you want to stagger your sowings with these as well. Get some more going in trays, so you can have some that's a little bit younger to harvest later on. And do the same with your potatoes as well. Stagger them, say, a month to two months apart. You can still grow potatoes right up until December, so you might as well do a pot a couple of months after your main crops go in. And then you could harvest these during Christmas and New Year. Do the same thing with your peas as well, because peas do grow quite quick, but the, blank, the plants can burn out just as quick. So if they stop flowering, you won't get any more peas. So it'd be worthwhile just to have a few more in backup and stagger the plantings into another pot once these are about five, six inches up this frame. You can start a fresh one off. And these are some more onions that I've put in after the ones I've just shown you. About a month apart from each other and you can see that these aren't as big and well developed as the others. But they will catch up at a certain point but they will bulb up ready for harvest a month or so later. Which is then going to give me a later harvest and more onions to keep me going. Maybe even through till next spring. So it does make perfect sense to stagger your plantings like that. Especially things like your, your brassicas as well. Because cabbage, cauliflowers, broccoli, brussels, they're all cold weather plants. You can get fast growing versions, uh, things like greyhound cabbage and durham cabbage, which they call early. And there's also early brussels. So then you could put these in, in late summer, and just keep growing them. Because you can grow these through winter as well. Or you could put them in a container and then grow them in the greenhouse. But either way it will ensure that you've got a consistent supply of vegetables all the year through rather than planting everything in one go and not having any backup plants to replace them once you've harvested and eaten those because then you've got to start from seed again, grow them into little seedlings and by the time you've done all that you're going to have lost about two months growing time. So just make sure you've got them ready to bang straight in once the first sowings have been taken out. As with these pea plants, they are quite tall, but they can be taken out and planted in a container now. And then this will have all new pea seeds put in it to replace these once these are exhausted. So I just thought that would be worth a mention, just in case you're going to bang everything in, grow it over the next four weeks, put lot in, harvest, and then realise that you've got beds that are empty, that you could have been growing something on. To replace it's also beneficial in the fact that if anything does occur like this crazy weather we've just had and actually are still having at the moment if anything does die you've always got a plant to replace it and obviously once it gets warmer that plant is just going to grow quicker than the previous one because the temperatures are better it's lighter and the days are longer so it's always worth thinking about stagger your sowings 
for a consistent supply of vegetables all the way through the year. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I do really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.